In this video I am going to show you how to route a board in Electro. So we go and click this button that says add connect. You can also do F3 and then you click this. Let's say you want to, I will first delete this route to understand so you can understand. Click on add connect this icon and point to one of the pins either this pin or this pin you can start from here and then move towards this pin or start from here and move to this so click on this and then go and then click on this when you reach the button you just click single button and then click on done so we have done this routing now let's say i connect this i want to connect this uh, I click on this button and then I can go on and uh, add this connection now this is a ground uh, pin so I want to increase its width uh, you can increase the width of the trace by going to uh, options and change the line width to something bigger something let's say 16 mils so you see that this this, this width is, is wider so all the power pins they should be routed with uh, with the bigger trace so we can go ahead and uh, route other pins for example this one I can do you can zoom as whenever it's required to like this and then go on routing this pins the like this 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 one thing you need to notice is that it bends at 45 degree automatically so if for example if I select this line lock instead of 45 degree if I click 90 degree then it won't uh, go it won't bend to 45 degree better practice is to keep it at uh, 45 degree that allows it to bend at 45 degree unless you really don't want it to be uh, 45 degrees now a few more things it's possible and sometimes you will find that you need to you need to change the layer you can go ahead and complete all the routings like this uh, once you are get used to it, it it's really fast you can go ahead and go do routing like this uh, things like that and similarly I can go ahead and do the routing for this uh, then you can save this file uh, another thing you need to notice is the, that if you if you our design has a constraint that it does not allow you to be close to another line for example if I try to go like this and if I click on here it, you can see that we have a red cross mark which shows that there is a DRC design rule check error so we don't want to create any design rule check errors so for example here this trace should not connect to this so we will get a DRC error that says that top line SMD pin to spacing has an error so we will, if you have done anything wrong you click on this cross button and then find C line segments what we want we want to delete this segment of the line and our DRC error has gone if you want to delete the whole of the line you click on cross and then find C line so what it will do is it will delete the whole line so if you have uh, made an error like this you can delete the line and continue error sometimes you won't be able to find a direct route because other lines are obstructing so you go and double click on this pin and then go, go to the bottom layer and then again come to the top layer and route like this once you've done that but this part is on the top layer and this part is on the bottom layer hope that it helps 
there's one final thing sometimes it's better to add a add a plane for example the highlighted these pins are uh, ground layer the mm, all these are ground pins for example if they say display element find nets and this is th th there are a lot of ground pins it's very difficult to connect all those ground pins manually what I do is I add a shape and then I say polygon and then I go option I give click H on the bottom dynamic copper and assign net name I go and assign uh, let's say ground here just, just write G and D star and it will highlight the ground I click on OK and then I create a ground plane on the bottom layer you can do it all way in the end so basically it's a whole plane of ground which is um, it will automatically then connect all the ground pins so you don't need to route most of the nets so you see that we have a ground plane on the bottom and then you can see that these pins get automatically connected because uh, and then what we do is for all the ground pins for example this is a ground net what we do is we just click here and then we bring it here and double click it there is a via coming out and that via will automatically connect to the ground pane the same way I can connect all the uh, ground pane just add a thing uh, add a line and give it a via it will connect automatically all the ground pins will be connected in this fashion I can go on and doing like this that's a very quick way of connecting the power pins it's a just a two layer PCB if there's a four layer PCB then we uh, we can we can have a uh, another similar plane for mm, for power pin for like 3.3 volt so that's how you will continue to do and hopefully you can practice like this thanks for taking a look